Hi, I'm Bo Huff, and you're watching Rat Rod TV. I know you're all anxious to see Rat Rod TV on the air. Well, I have good news. We're putting the chrome on the pilot, and we're getting ready to go to air within the next few weeks. You'll be able to watch Rat Rod TV on channel 354 on DirecTV. The show will also be streamed live on the internet, so you can watch it at home on your computer if you don't have DirecTV. We're not going to feature high dollar builds and million dollar shops with unlimited budgets. Nope. The first half of each Rat Rod TV episode, we're going to take you to a backyard or a garage around the country and talk to people just like you who have built or are building Rat Rods in their backyard or garage. The second half of each episode will feature a weekly update on our Essex build. At the end of each show, we'll feature our entry to win the Lincoln PMC 140 Power MIG. Then I'll read our email of the week and give away the red back shop boots or a pair of Crown Deluxe sunglasses. To enter your rat rod, go to ratrodtv.com and click on the Win the Lincoln Welder stamp. Attach your photo build story or your video, and you'll be judged on creativity, quality, style, and safety. Thanks, Red. Now, here's a sample garage interview taken from one of our episodes. The Rat Rod TV crew traveled to Cardiff by the Sea in Southern California, and we interviewed Peter Smith and talked about his 1937 Dodge build. Hi, we're in Peter Smith's garage in Cardiff, California. Thanks for having us into your garage, Pete. Yeah, no problem, Pete buddy. Pete built a great 1937 Dodge pickup here. And how did you get started in the, the rat rod deal? Well, I got started originally by just hanging around hot rods and being around hot rods most of my life. And, uh, you know, got tired of looking at the painted cars. They all look the same. You got know? tired of the paint, right? The paint, got tired of the paint, so I figured we'd do something a little different, you know, and there she is. So you got bit by the rat, rat rod bug. Yes, sir. You started with the, the Dodge. Where did you get the cat? I got the cat from uh, Missouri. Came out of Missouri. Missouri, yeah. Came from a farm in Missouri, a friend of mine. Uh, lives back there and he saw it back there and so we hooked up and brought it back here. And did the body look like that when it got here? No. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Tell us about the chop. Uh, what we have here, just a regular five inch chop, basically done. Uh, left it rough like it is, obviously, so it would look like a rat rod and it's meant to look this way with all the different gaps and wrong doings in it, you know. And what about the power plant here? Power plant here, you're looking at a 350, 50 over, uh, comp cam, uh, aluminum metal brock heads, uh, regular roller lifters, 671 BDS blower with the two 650 hollies, MSD ignition and coil, set of uh, headers that were made by um, Jim Warner and Oceanside custom headers on. Nice headers. They are nice, yeah. I know. He did a great job on those, you know. He built those for me. It was awesome. And it's got all the trick stuff in it. It's pushing out about 600 horsepower somewhere around there. 600 horse? Mm-hmm. Got where'd, where'd you come about these headlights up here? Headlights there off a Peterbilt uh, truck. Early model Peterbilt is what they're from. The grill in it's a 39 Ford grill, sectioned and chopped down to fit. I noticed you have a windshield, uh, windshield wiper installed over here. Windshield wiper, yeah. It didn't have a wiper, but I had, I came across a, an NOS 37 Dodge, brand new in the box, windshield motor, wiper motor. I don't know if that's rat rod legal or not to have a, a windshield and a windshield no, wiper. That's pretty convenient. It's probably not. It's probably not, but I don't give a shit anyway, you know. <laughs> Love this rear end. Yeah, rear end's pretty not cool. Not yours, I'm talking about the car. <laughs> I know, I know. I kind of looked around, saw all the old trucks have wood in the back, you know, so I figured, what the hell, you know, I was out here one night and drank a few beers, and so... We end up with had a wood. few too many, you wind up with a wood bed. Yeah. Wood, the wood in the bed, yeah, right. But that <laughs> that didn't cost me a lot of dough. <laughs> One of the highlights of this car is the interior. Yeah, it is. I put a few license plates in there to kind of give it that look, which is what guys did back in the day. They couldn't afford metal, so they got an old sign or whatever and repaired the, the holes with it. Most of these plates are pretty rare plates. So they're, they're all, um, most of them are matching sets from back in the 20s, 30s which is pretty cool, you know. El Diablo, you did a great job, and the really nice part about doing a build like this is there are no rules, you can do whatever you want, right. you build a car to please yourself, you're probably, what, in this under $15,000? Yeah, I'd say so, yeah, around there. Like you say, too, it's my car, and I did, did it how I wanted it. A lot of people don't look at it as a rat rod because it's not ratty ratty like how a lot of guys build them well to me it is because it's built how i want it and that's all i cared about you know well, this is a rat and you have uh what do you have on there to bring out the patina in the surface i use diesel just diesel and uh, transmission fluid or transmission fluid and gas is my polish of choice 
<laughs> well, we're going to go down to uh, Lucadia, and we're going to be there for the photo session with the car okay. and the models, and then we're going to go down to the beach, and we'll have to take this thing for a ride. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Thanks for having us in your garage, Pete. Anytime. Buddy. Good job on the car. Thank you. Nice ride. Thanks, buddy. We're at a photo session here in Lucadia for Dodgy Pete's car, and the photos are going in the new Rat Rod magazine, right? That's correct, yeah. They'll be in uh, probably in the uh, issue three of the Rat Rod magazine, which is a new magazine totally for Rat Rods. We have the photographer from uh, Rat Rod magazine over here, and then we have Michelle, our model in the background, and our viewers are watching right now live a Rat Rod photo session, which has never been done before on television that we're aware of. Awesome. Rod TV is brought to you in part by Mr. Horsepower. We build the best and fix the rest. By E3 Spark Plugs. It's all about the burn. By Race Deck. The ultimate garage floor show. By Cool Craft. Welcome to Coolsville. And by Hot Rod Grills. Let's burn some meat. Find out more about these and other fine products by clicking on the links at ratrodtv.com. Your home for thrust, lust, and rust. Thanks for watching. Bye.